Hey there YouTube fans, how you going there? Alright, this is uh, video 2 of a recent uh, situation, <laughs> let's call it that. Alright, so I just did a video on fibromyalgia, please check that one out. And now I'm going to talk about chronic fatigue syndrome, otherwise known as myalgic encephalomyelitis. Try and say that very fa fast. Okay, I won't try it again. Alright requires a medical diagnosis. The main symptom is fatigue for over six months. The fatigue often worsens with activity, in other words, post-exertional malaise, but doesn't improve with rest. So you can go to bed tired, wake up tired, go to bed tired, wake up tired, ad infinitum. Um, the other thing there is that somebody, some people say, some doctors say that it is curable um, I read somewhere, now don't quote me on this, but I read somewhere that if you still have it for five years, you may have it for the rest of your life, unfortunately. There may not be a cure for it. Sometimes it comes on through um, illnesses like Epson-Barr virus and mono. Mono, um, a lot of Americans seem to have that, um, that illness. You'll know what I'm talking about if you're American. Um, there's many other things that can bring it on. All right, let's go on. People may experience pain areas in the joints or muscles. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Like fibro. Um, whole body fatigue, inability to exercise, yes. Or malaise, which is feeling ill. Cognitive confusion, forgetfulness, or lack of concentration. Sleep, excess, excess sleepiness, or sleep disturbances, mood, anxiety, and depression, or, or apprehensive, apprehension, anxiety, or apprehension. Also common, depression, headache, muscle weakness, sensitivity to pain, or sore throat. So you see some of these um, symptoms overlap with fibromyalgia. So that may be a, what we call a differential, differential diagnosis. So you may not actually have chronic fatigue, you may have um, fibromyalgia, but or vice versa. And though it is, both of those conditions are actually hard for doctors to diagnose because it seems to be a diagnosis of exclusion. There's no, there's no biomarkers, so there's no specific test, a blood test or something that you can take. As far as I'm aware, that will show up either of those illnesses, chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia. So just be aware, um, if you have CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome, or fibromyalgia, it may be that you have either or, or both of them. So that, that would be one of the differential diagnoses. Um, there are other problems like multiple sclerosis and lupus and a whole, bunch, whole, whole lot other bunch of things that you really should be checked out if you if you think that you could have CFS or anything else. So please check with your doctor before you do anything, all right? I hope this helps somebody out there. God bless, teach yourself out. Remember to like, comment, and sub subscribe. Ciao, guys. Ciao.